It was during the silent era when black characters first appeared in cinema, in 1915's Birth of a Nation. The blacks were played by white actors in blackface, and the characters were degrading stereotypes. In response to Birth of a Nation, a group of independent black filmmakers and talent sprung up during the silent era to give black audiences a more realistic portrayal of themselves. Stage actor Burt Williams became one of the first black film stars. Another black talent during this time was Paul Robeson, who got his start in New York theater and then progressively ended up in films such as Body and Soul. It was during the talkies period when mainstream Hollywood began to produce films starring African Americans. Films such as Hearts in Dixie, Hallelujah, and Green Pastures. But were these films accurate portrayals of men and women of color? Morning, brother. Morning. Hey, Claire, you look like a good man. Oh, I try to be. Hollywood uh, was reflecting a lot of the social norms, the, the values, the, the whole mindset of, of white America with regard to people of color and in particular the black American. So that the Hollywood films invariably uh, attacked, vilified, denigrated people of color. I mean, to be able to do the, oh, you want it. that was, I mean, you know, it, it was an art, you know, just to try to do that. And they pulled it off in such a way that, you know, on one hand, you know, they were great actors. On one hand, there's this big argument about the disservice they did to African Americans because all across the world, people started thinking that all African Americans talk like you. It was these you know types of images like? that led to a black oh, separatist I'm cinema I'm movement I'm during the 1930s and 1940s, which sought to counter the negative images that were being perpetrated by Hollywood. Through a steady stream of numerous films, this movement showed a larger panorama of black life. May we bow our heads. Bringing these positive images to the screen were the granddaddies of black film, Oscar Michaud, Spencer Williams, and William Alexander. The filmmaker that had the most impact on me was Oscar Michaud, because uh, when I read about him, he wrote, directed, produced, and did the distribution of his films. And so for me as a filmmaker, um, it planted the seed that I could write, direct, produce, and act in films. Spencer Williams targeted his films towards the non-urban audience. Williams made films in different genres, everything from comedies. Greeley. Mr. Greeley said, go west, young man, and do your best. To dramas, to religious films, such as The Blood of Jesus, one of the first films to be inducted into the Congressional National Film Registry. But it was William Alexander who sought to show positive portrayals of black Americans, not only in his fictional films, The Fight Never Ends, and Souls of Sin, but also in his series, Byline Newsreels. Byline's roving cameraman is in the nation's capital. These newsreels showed black people in real walks of life doing the things that they do. Uh, and black achievers, uh, professionally, uh, he particularly focused on because he felt the need for uh, a sense of dignity in the black community. It was the work of independent filmmakers such as these who set the stage for the films that followed during the 50s and 60s. Films such as those featuring Sidney Poitier, Harry Belafonte, and Dorothy Dandridge in strong and dignified black roles. This is my country. This is where I've done what I've done. And if there were a million crutch like you, all sick like you are sick, all shouting down, destroy, degrade, and if there were 20 million more sick enough to listen to them, you are still going to lose. You're going to lose, mister, because there is something in this country, something so big, so strong that you don't even know. The 70s also brought about a number of movies that featured African Americans in leading heroic roles. For African Americans, it was the first time we had really a chance to see um, African Americans as leading men, as heroes. 
Because in the other films, they were usually, you know, the butler or, you know, the help or whatever, you know, whatever, but they never saved the day. The works of independent black filmmakers have had an impact on the way African Americans are portrayed on television and movie screens today. Those movies, you know, fueled me and I guess the filmmakers, everybody else that saw those films, to make the movies that are being made now. Our celebration of Black History Month and Hollywood's greatest black performers continues next on Turner Classic Movies.